Welcome to the Velvet Room. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. How unexpected for you to visit while my master is away. Is it my imagination, or have we had an exchange like this once before? Ah, uh, that's right. It was on the night of a typhoon not long ago. There was a strange incident where you met a certain someone. At least that's what I seem to recall. But could that have been a dream I had? Or... Hmm... We'll meet again, again. Someday. Someday. I wish to ask you something. What transpired on the night of that typhoon? Do you happen to remember the name of the person you met? written during the typhoon. Yet this occurred on that same night, at a time when you were with your friends in Tartarus. Very well. Allow me to speak a bit on the subject of that incident. It happened on the night of a typhoon, merely a few days ago. The absence of this room's master had made the existence of our velvet room somewhat uncertain. got cancelled in the end. It would have really been something to look back on. Come on, it's not that bad. There's always next year. It was too bad, but the typhoon left no other choice. It would have been awful if someone got hurt. Since we can't assure the student's safety, we had to cancel. I feel bad as student council president. No one's blaming you, Mitsuru. Just shows that even we can't fight Mother Nature. Huh? Where's that guy? I don't see him around. If you mean our leader, then he is over there. He mentioned going to acquire a new persona. At the persona summoning place, only he can see, right? Man, that lucky skunk. Getting to change his persona is cheating. I wonder what his new persona will be like this time. Goromaru says, I wanted to have big bazongas. Like he'd say that. Are you stupid or something? Yikes, 
She sounds even more pissed than usual. It seems Karumaru-san is worried about our leader. He was confined to his bed for two days after all. Ah, I see. But he's probably fine. It seemed like his fever was going down. Not like we can go anywhere in this typhoon anyway. So he couldn't just stay in bed till it passed. He said something was bothering him, so we came to Tartarus. But there's nothing really here either. Wh what's that? Is that a bell? It stopped. What was that? Whatever it was, stay alert just in case. I'll have a look around with my persona. Ah! What's wrong, Fuka? There was a spider by my feet. Huh? Where'd it go? A spider? Sorry, I guess it was just my imagination. I'll use my persona to check. Huh? Welcome to the Velvet Room. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. How unexpected for you to visit while my master is away. Unfortunately, he is absent at the moment. If it's fusion you require, then I have some knowledge of the process. Feel free to ask me to perform them. By the by, only a legion can be summoned today. That will be all right with you, won't it? A legion means an army. Each face has a different expression. They all bear such rich anguish that I never tire of watching them. I highly recommend one to you. Well then, let's proceed with the fusion ritual without delay. Elizabeth, you mustn't lie. You are capable of fusing other personas as well. Ah, Theo. How do you do? This is my incompetent younger brother, Theodore. I realize that's long, so simply call him Theo. But my name is shorter than yours. My name is Theodore. Thank you for bearing with my sister Elizabeth all this time. I am sure her naivete must cause you difficulty at times. But I hope, since our master has stepped away for the moment, I am remaining here alongside her as a precaution. When the Velvet Room is without its master, the room's existence itself becomes a bit unstable. Moreover, there is a storm raging in the outside world right now. Storms shake things up. Not only the body, but the heart too. One's resolve, one's internal strife, one's hidden thoughts. Everyone closes their eyes during a storm, for that is when the world within begins to encroach. One will have no choice but to face what has gone hidden while their eyes were averted. Storms that can shake up fate, and even time itself. 
In any case, if you could please allow me to... An alarm? Oh. What on earth? Hmm? My! Huh? Who are they? What's going on here? It's so blue. Is this an elevator? What? What is this place? What could this mean? Uninvited guests in a private chamber. That can only mean that the culprit is among us. Uh, culprit? Merely my small joke. That aside, this is a facet of fate as well, and perhaps a beginning. I am Elizabeth, and this is my younger brother, Theodore. We are residents of this Velvet Room. Velvet Room? Oh, you mean where our leader goes for personas? <laughs> 